Hello and good morning everyone. Let me reintroduce myself. I'm Dea Micaela Banyas. Some call me Mick, but the lower years might know me as Nang Dea. The past five years in archie for me was a fight between my passion for the arts and my degree. You might be wondering, Diba Arki is arts man? Well, it actually is. It is a form of art. But I'm more on the painting, music, makanta ko subong, tigtanin nyo pagkatlawan, and performing side of it. Ta! Tan lim! Lim ta! Present! But this passion of mine has been burning since I was a kid. Maybe it was because of my dad, my mom, and my tita who influenced me to pursue this incredible craft. There was just something about picking up a pencil and start drawing my first scribbles. This little girl right here actually wanted to be a nurse. Well, just because her family told her to. And when this little girl became not so little, she kind of knew where her path was. And obviously, that little girl is me. I was a quiet artist. You could barely hear my voice in elementary because I was a shy kid. But I just kept drawing. I never stopped busking. I was told to stop because I wanted to pursue my passion. Art wasn't the only passion I had then. I wanted to be a basketball player too. I hoped to get in the WNBA despite being short. But it was a dream I had long ago and have now laid to rest. When I was 10, my loving mom bought me a painting set. It came with a cheap canvas and even cheaper paint. I didn't mind that quality. As long as I was able to create something, my heart was already in the right place. So I did the typical flowers in a vase painting. I know I don't look happy there, but I actually was. Pinilit lang kapi magpa picture. Art was just a hobby at first, until I unconsciously found myself wanting to create more every day. Kumbaga kung sa love na fall ka na siya. It was also in elementary where I joined my first art competition, the Dinagyang Poster Making Contest. I didn't win, but I was very happy to do what I love. Also, to be pulled out of class and be excused. The fire did not just keep burning when I reached high school. It turned into a blaze. This was my quiz paper back when I was in first year. As you can see, scribbles. Also, a note from my English teacher saying she won't be accepting my paper next time because it wasn't in the correct time and place. She wasn't wrong though. And every time I'd stumble upon that quiz paper of mine, I laugh at my 12-year-old self, knowing at a young age, I was already set on my greatest goal. I slowly opened myself to sharing my art throughout my four years in high school. Poster making contests were my favorite events. I wasn't the mastermind in the majority of the concepts we did. I would say, taga color lang ko. But I've always been happy to be with other talented artists of our batch. In high school, we had five sections per year. Approximately 40 students in class. Which meant there's a high chance of meeting a kapwa. Compared to my elementary school where we were just 12 in class. I never treated my fellow artists as a competition. Rather, look at them as teammates in this world that stigmatizes the arts. At the time, art was still not as acknowledged as it is today. Social media was still growing then, but I already started utilizing it as a platform to share my lovingly crafted works, despite some not being so good. I jumped from art style to art style, medium to medium, hoping that I could settle on something that when people see, they'd be like, oh, it's Daya B. Around my junior and senior year, I was a frustrated artist. I wanted to give up because I kept comparing myself to others, pressuring my being into thinking I was below them. 
I used to carry the sketch pad in my senior year. Inside are sketches and artworks, obviously. But here's a page I remembered upon seeing it. I can hear my 15-year-old self saying, "Hindi ugit makuha ang portraits, basking ano ko pa try." And a year later, in architecture school, I was able to draw this. But let's not jump on either. We were the last batch na wala ka K to 12. Pero I had what ifs. Because ang pag-graduate ko high school, wala pa ko balo kung ano kuha ang ko sa college. I wasn't ready for that yet. While my classmates were hyped sa upkat, usted, asset, etc. I was living in the moment too much that I haven't thought of the long run. So think at the time na mayo pang iban. They exactly knew what they wanted to pursue in life. Meanwhile ako, I had to think fast because April na and na may pa fiesta fiesta ako the time sa miyaga ako gimbal. Tulo ka bala? Te sis, may plano ka pa magswila? Anyways, with my burning passion for the arts, I was torn and thought to myself, kung naabdan ko senior high, then tani makapag isip ako mayad. I was 16, I was scared to go out of my comfort zone. I wanted to take fine arts, but because of the stigma, I landed in architecture. For practicality's sake. So, hello, San Agustin! You dear, sweet delectable boy. Not gonna lie, excited gid man ko actually mag archi. They say nga daan, ara na inatanan sa archi. The drawings, the technicalities, everything. So I trust ako, hoping na in time I will learn to love my course. I was in the zone when I was still a freshman. I enjoyed the plates. Actually, I enjoyed everything in my first year. Pulau wasn't in my vocabulary back then. Then palang gihimus na kamatulo, eleven at most. And basking ako man subong gawander kung paano ko na nobraso na. My passion for the arts never faded away when I was a freshman. With the help of some of our subjects, specifically visual tech, my knowledge somehow widened. I knew about the right materials to be used in drawing, the right techniques, and I was able to pull off the things I couldn't in high school. It was around my sophomore year when my love for the arts couldn't be contained. I was already 18 and into my junior year of college when I knew what course I really wanted to take. It was advertising arts. Feeling ko sa self ko too late na magshift pa. I said, tapusong ko na lang ang sinugudan ko. And so I did. I kept making those plates with the feeling that something's not right. I felt like I was trapped. It was around the third quarter of 2017 when I got my heart broken. And no, it wasn't about a guy. You don't need to be in a relationship to get hurt. Anyone is capable of doing that, hurting. I let out my anger, sadness, and unsaid feelings into art. I wrote songs, poems, and drew metaphors of what my heart, if it could speak, would want to cry out. They were aliens. My drawings had hidden meanings in them. Metaphor gani, di ba? But as time passed by, a year later, I drew a new character and ditched the alien theme. It was the astronauts. And from then on, my art just revolved around them. The astronaut, I'd say, got kind of successful in terms of my art style. Because I've had friends and acquaintances telling me that every time they see one, it reminded me of them. I have had zero regrets in the five years despite the fact that I was torn between my passion and degree. It made me the person that I am today. Meeting and interacting with people beyond academics are like talking to art itself. 
It led you to moments that can sometimes be immortalized in canvas and metaphors. Can't let things lie. It's alright. Artsy will always be a part of me, but art completes me. Post grad, I'm currently pursuing my passion in the arts. I'll go back to OJT soon, once I'm comfortable. I cannot rush on something that I'm not ready for. I don't want to feel trapped again. But at the same time, I don't want to live in the moment too much without thinking of its effects in the long run. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a bit of your passion in the beginning in order to widen your vision, to see more opportunities. We can't always stay in our comfort zone and wait for a miracle to happen. Instead, we should do something, even just a little, to make that miracle happen. For even cinders can spark great fires, just as small dreams can turn into your magnum opus, your masterpiece. Oh, maybe I'm not right to choose.